Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today I'm making vegan butternut squash soup. So I have a bunch of stuff in front of me already chopped and ready to go. In here I have a couple of shallots, four carrots, and some butternut squash. So I love butternut squash, but sometimes it can take a little bit of work to actually take a fresh one and break it down. So if you want to save time, you can buy pre-cut butternut squash. It is a great shortcut to all your favorite butternut squash uses like this soup. I also have some ginger, some orange juice, lemon, and some veggie stock over here, plus some spices. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna turn on my pot. I have it over medium high heat and I wanna heat up the pot first before I put in the cold oil. So hot pan, cold oil. So we'll wait about 10, 20, 30 seconds for that to happen. Today I have some vegetable oil. You can also use olive oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil. All of these will work really well. In it goes. Then I'm gonna grab a wooden spoon and in goes all the veggies. Okay, I'm gonna put some salt in there and I like to put salt in when my veggies are sauteing. It helps draw out the moisture, helps them cook a little bit faster, get a little brown, caramelized in there. All right, we're gonna let that saute for a few minutes. So we're gonna get some ginger ready. This is a fresh knob of ginger. You can also peel a bunch of ginger and keep it in your freezer in a resealable freezer bag. And then you just use a microplane or a grater. It works super quick and easy for just small things like this. But I have a fresh piece here. So I'm gonna use a spoon, which is a trick to get the skin off. So you just gently pull on the skin and it comes right off and then you don't lose any of that great ginger. You can also use a knife, but then you just tend to lose some of that flesh. Great. And we're just going to mince our ginger. So I'm gonna cut across and make some small planks. Then I'll line up the planks and make some essentially long pieces of ginger. And then I'll kind of move it sideways and go left to right to make it smaller. Then you can kind of put everything into a pile and the heel of your hand on the back of the knife kind of go back and forth through it a few times. I don't mind my ginger being a little bit chunky like this, but again, if you like it finer, then I really recommend the freezing trick. So peel it, freeze it, and then just use a grater or a microplane. So let's give this a stir. Now today we're gonna be doing some warming spices. So we have the ginger. That's gonna go into the pot. I have cumin and coriander over here. That's going in. And a little bit of black pepper. We'll mix that all around. Then we're gonna deglaze with a little bit of stock. So we'll just put in a little bit. We're gonna scrape up any brown bits that may have collected on the bottom. And then we'll put in the rest. Excellent. And then what we'll do is we'll increase the heat to a boil. Then we're gonna put our lid on lower it back down to like a nice simmer and in about 20 minutes we'll go back and check. We just want all the vegetables to be cooked through and then we're going to puree it and add our last couple ingredients. So we'll see you back here in about 20 minutes. Okay so our vegetables are cooked through. It's been in here for about 20 minutes. We can easily break them apart. I'm going to add in a little bit of orange juice. And I'm also gonna add in some lemon juice. With my favorite tool, you put it cut side down in the middle here. In goes some lemon juice. Now, 
I like to use an immersion blender for this. You can also take it out in batches and do it in the blender. I would just recommend that you let it cool down enough so that you don't have a problem. It's very easy to get burnt if it's too hot. So for this reason, let's, let's do it right in the pot. All right, beautiful. Let's just get this out of the way. Beautiful. Once again, I'm Abby. This is my vegan butternut squash soup. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.